to talk about how to read minds. We're going to talk about how to create the connections that matter and how to get inside the head of the investors, the people that can say yes, by placing your attention where it really matters. You see, in life, we get what we expect. So where we put our focus is where we find our results. So how do you adjust your focus in your elevator pitch? Let me share that with you. You know, typically when people begin their elevator pitch, they start off with I, me, my. They talk about their accomplishments or the features and benefits of the software or the app or the medical device or whatever it is that's their magic that they're talking about. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? This is called first person, right? First person, you remember from high school English class when you read The Tale of the White Whale by Herman Melville, Moby Dick? And the first three words of that very famous novel start off with these three words, call me Ishmael. First person, right? And it's so typical when we start off our elevator pitch, we start off in first person. We start off with our name, rank, and serial number. Hi, my name's Tom. I'm a CPA. Help people save money on their taxes. Ooh, super. Don't start off with your name, rank, and serial number. Don't start off talking in third person. Don't start off talking in third person. He, she, it. You know, and by the way, I just said three words. I don't want you to think that I violated ACU's policy. Three words, he, she, it. We talk in third person about our company's capabilities, right? But there's a focus that's more important than that. Ready? Here's when your story gets interesting. When you make the second person first. The second person first. What is second person? You. If you've got features, benefits, advantages, accomplishments, if you can't phrase that story in terms of what you can do with, through, and for others, you're making a mistake. Otherwise, you're just reading from your resume, or you might as well just hand someone a brochure or refer them to your website. You've got to make the second person first. So, as you think about your elevator pitch, as you think about what investors want to know, why you, why this, why now, how can you make the advantages of your solution meaningful and compelling to your listeners?